Okay, hello, my, uh, Practical Translation 1. Uh, welcome to your first on-demand class for this course. Um, during this course, we have two on-demand classes planned. This is one of them, and next week will be the other one. Uh, the reason why we're doing this uh, on demand is because in these two classes, we'll be learning how to use the software Microsoft Publisher. Um, some of you may have used this software before, um, but a lot of you may not have used this software, and we will be using this software, Microsoft Publisher, uh, in order to create the uh, Hoxay Times. Now, uh, today you will be learning some of the basics to do with Microsoft Publisher, but eventually we will use a template where you will just uh, edit, add text, add photos, and that kind of thing. But I want to run through the basics of Microsoft Publisher so you have a general idea of how the, uh, the software works. So um, today you will be creating this. Um, this is what you will be creating today. Um, we're going to copy and paste some text from Wikipedia about Sapporo City into uh, a, um, a Microsoft Publisher document. So we're gonna have some text. Um, we're gonna have three columns that are all linked together so that the so that the text automatically runs into the next column and we're going to add a picture um, so this should give you an idea of how to use microsoft publisher so that when we come to putting your articles into um, microsoft publisher you'll have a good idea of how it works so feel free to pause and um, and do these kinds of things and kind of follow along doing the work um, as we go along. So your homework for today will be to create this document in Microsoft Publisher. Uh, so that will be your homework. Um, so kind of just follow along and uh, once you have your Sapporo City one page document finished, then I'll ask you to save it and upload that to Moodle so I can have a look. So how do we do this? Um, let's start from the beginning. Um, so first of all, uh, you will, if you're working on a computer at home, then you will need to install Microsoft Publisher on your computer. If you don't have a computer at home, then you will need to come to school and use Microsoft Publisher on the computers, in the computer rooms here at school. So uh, at university, you are allowed to come to university to use the university computers if you don't have a computer at home that you can do this work on. Okay, so if you do have a computer at home where you can do this work, then uh, we, we do request that you do it at home and not come into school. Um, but if you don't have a computer at home, then you are welcome to come and use the computers at school. Um, and uh, Microsoft Publisher is installed on the computers at school. So for those of you who do have a computer at home, um, you may need to install Microsoft Publisher first. So um, if you're not sure if you have Microsoft Publisher on your computer, I suggest that you have a search for it. So um, go into your program search uh, interface. Uh, it might be a little bit different on, um, on Mac. But on Windows, you would click in the search area and type um, publisher, publisher. All right, so on my computer, I already have Microsoft Publisher installed. If you don't have Microsoft Publisher installed, then you can install it for free because you are a Hokusei Gakuen University student. So 
if you don't have Microsoft Publisher, please go to uh, Campus Guide Web uh, uh, on the Hokusei web page. So um, type into your browser here, uh, cgw.hokusei.ac.jp. Um, so this is the, 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 the screen that you will be familiar with um, for when you log into your Office 365 mail and that kind of thing. Now on this page, there is the Enkaku Jugyo Online Jugyo Ni Kansuru Page. So please click on that. And then that will bring you to um, this information page about uh, online classes here at Hokusei. Uh, in the Gakusei Muke tab here, you can scroll down and you've got the startup guides and then the Kankyo Seibi section. Here you have um, a bit of text here that says uh, Office, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Hoka. Soft no Ryo Annai wa kochira. If you click on this, then that will take you to uh, another page here where uh, it tells you, and you've, this is a really great thing um, that Hokusei is providing to students. But um、2019年度から最新のオフィスソフトをインターネットからダウンロードして、在籍中の学生が所有のPC及び在職の職員は所有PCで利用することが可能になりました。店舗の資料を確認の上、各自インストールしてご利用ください。so we've got that there, and if you click on the link here, then that will take you to a PDF file that will in, uh, give you instructions on how to install Microsoft Office. Now, Microsoft Publisher is included in Microsoft uh, Office. So um, follow the instructions here. I will link to this PDF file on the Moodle site, um, so and also in the uh, description below. So you can just click on that and then follow the instructions to install Microsoft Publisher. Oh, sorry, to install Microsoft Office, which includes Microsoft Publisher. Um, so you'll need to sign in using your Hokusei uh, um, ID and password, and then you'll see that there is a Microsoft install section there um, that you can use. Okay, so if you haven't got Microsoft Publisher on your computer, first pause this video, click on the link in the description below and download the software and install that on your computer. And then come back to the video. Okay, so Assuming that you have Microsoft Publisher installed on your computer, next we're going to have a look of, of how to use Microsoft Publisher. Um, so I'm gonna look for Publisher. Here we go, Microsoft Publisher on my computer here. I open it up and Microsoft Publisher is software that focuses on the layout of text on a page. So Microsoft Publisher is software that focuses on the layout of text on a page. So when you open up Microsoft Publisher, you can choose just to open a blank A4 sheet, or you've got a whole bunch of templates that you can use and edit to create your own uh, document. So you've got all sorts of things. Um, now there's all sorts of templates that you can use um, to create whatever you want to create. Um, in, uh, oh, here we go, and up here as well, business, let's see. Right, yeah, there's a whole bunch of different templates for business kind of things. Um, even, interesting. Um, what other templates have we got? Um, I've got Meishi 
the templates. Um, but if you look on the internet as well, there's a whole bunch of Microsoft Publisher templates that you can use and edit. For us, we're going to start from a blank sheet um, because I want you guys to get an idea of how to do this. So I've selected the A4 blank sheet and this is the screen that I have. Now this kind of looks quite similar to Microsoft Word. Um, I'm going to open up Microsoft Word here as well. Um, and I'm going to put Microsoft Word on the right and Publisher on the left. So when we have a look at these two side by side, we've got Microsoft Publisher on the left here and Microsoft Word on the right. Um, they both kind of look sort of similar, right? But the biggest difference between Microsoft Word and Microsoft Publisher is that Microsoft Publisher is all about composition, is about composing or creating, uh, say, um, a report or uh, you know big pieces of text. Uh, and you don't really have a huge amount of control over the layout of that text. You, you can control the layout of text in Microsoft Word, but it's not as easy as it is in Microsoft Publisher. So in Microsoft Word, if we wanted to um, write a story or um, some kind of composition, you know, we would type and then press Enter and then have the next line, Enter, etc. Right. But if I wanted to move this text, you know, I wanted to have it, it only come to here and, and have it kind of in a particular spot, I have to do a bit more work in order to make this text uh, into the layout that I want. However, in Microsoft Publisher, we have a lot of tools to, uh, to lay out text in the way that we want. So Microsoft Publisher, here we are. Um, we can zoom in and out um, using the, uh, the zoom feature here. So if I click on that, then that zooms in and out on our page. Um, and we're gonna start by, um, well, in, in this session, we're going to recreate that article uh, about Sapporo City. So we're going to start uh, by putting in, f first of all, putting in a, a text box into the, um, into the main area here. Um, so we want to go to saw new or insert and then yokogaki texto box. We want to put one of those into the top of the, um, of the document here. Now the good thing about Microsoft Publisher is that automatically, automatically um, we can align things. See the see the um, the two longer um, lines that that show up when we put it against the margins here. So we've got the, now we've got this box perfectly lined up with the corner. Um, so we get that in the corner and line it up, and we can line it up on this side as well. So in this box, uh, how about we write Sapporo City, right? And this is going to be the header of our um, of our article here. Um, of course, this text is a little bit too small, so we're going to want to um, highlight this and increase the text size. This is just the same as Microsoft Word, nothing different there. So we're gonna maybe increase that to 48. Um, now this can be, be, be anything really, but um, just for this example, we're gonna start with 48. So here we go. We have our, um, we have our uh, heading here, and maybe we want to have this um, centered in our box here so we can do just the same just the same as we do in Microsoft Word we can do the center centering the text here to all the way here right so that brings our 
um, title into the middle here. Um, so we now have our uh, text here up the top. And now we want to create some columns. Um, now this is relatively easy to do, uh, but it's, it's one little trick um, that we're gonna learn to kind of connect those columns together is the, is the real nice thing about Microsoft Publisher. But first of all, we would go to saw new, right? Insert and yokogaki texto box, right? We're gonna put another one of these in. Um, we wanna make it uh, the length of the page. So I'm gonna zoom out here um, using the zoom um, tool here, zoom out a bit so that we can see the whole page and I'm going to want to move that down to the bottom of the page there. So just make sure that it's all lined up. And I'm going to manually set the width of this column. Um, so we go to uh, Shoshiki up here. And then I'm going to set the width here, the hub up, to 3.8 centimeters. Um, now, if we click outside of this, suddenly it, it seems as though our box has disappeared. Um, it hasn't disappeared. It's still there. If we put our mouse over top, then we see the, the edges of the box. But ideally, we, sh we want to be able to see the edges of the boxes all the time so that we can uh, see where things are. So if we click uh, in Hyoji, click on Hyoji, and then select Kyokai Sen, select Kyokai Sen, then this will show the edges of these boxes. It, it's handy, it's helpful to have these shown. So I would recommend to always have those shown. Um, these lines will not be printed when you print the document. So these are just to show you as you are editing uh, where the boxes are. Okay, so we've got one column here. Now we want to copy this. So um, I'm right clicking on the border of the box here. So on the border, right click, copy, and then click outside, and then right click again, and then paste, haritsuke. Right, so that has given us another one. We're going to right click on this, copy, and haritsuke again. So we now have three columns in our document. Um, but of course, we want to get these nicely lined up. Um, as we can see, uh, Microsoft Publisher is automatically showing us some lines, some guidelines. See those, see that pink line that appears? That's telling me that this box here, the top is aligned or lined up with the top of the left hand side here. If we move it across again, we get a pink line through the middle of the page. This is telling me that the object that I am moving is now in the middle of the page. Pretty handy, right? And we're gonna do the same with the, um, the last box here. We wanna get it lined up with the top. We see the pink line up here, but of course we don't want it hanging over here. So we move it along until we get it onto the side here. So now we have three columns. Um, before we put any um, images or anything in here, I want to copy and paste some text into here. So we're gonna open up a browser. Um, in my case, this is Google Chrome. And I'd like you to search for Sapporo Wikipedia. So type in Sapporo Wikipedia and press enter and hopefully you should get the English version of the Sapporo um, document here. So I'm gonna click on that. And we have a, um, an article about Sapporo in English. Um, 
Now what I'd like you to do is highlight and copy this first piece of text here. So we're highlighting and copying the first piece of text here. Um, and then go back to uh, your uh, Microsoft Publisher document, right click, and then click on um, paste. But I'd like you to paste this version, Tekisto nomi hoji. Right, so on the, um, the Wikipedia page, there's a whole bunch of texts, uh, so, sorry, um, links and all that kind of thing. We don't want to include those, so we're just going to uh, paste the text only. So we click on that, and there we go. We have the text um, pasted in here. I'll zoom up a little bit, um, and you can see uh, the text in there. Um, now, I think the um, the size of the font, if we go back to home here, yeah, the size of the font is 10.5 at the moment, and we could do with a little bit more size. So um, I'm going to select all of this text, and then I'm going to increase the text size to, say, 12. Now, when I do that, you'll notice that there are some red dots that appear here uh, around the, um, the column. What this means is that the text is now too big for this uh, text box. Um, you can see here right at the bottom that now uh, the annual Sa Sapporo Snow Festival draws more than 2 million tourists from abroad. Other notable sites include the Sapporo, and then it's cut off. Uh, that's not ideal, right? Um, ideally, what we want is for this text to automatically flow into this next column. Right? So one way to do that would be to copy and paste and, and do that kind of thing. But we want this to, to happen automatically. So what we do is we click in the, uh, in the, um, the column with the text in it. And here you'll see a box with, um, uh, with three dots. We click on that. And then we get this funny little um, icon here. Uh, it's kind of like a, uh, a pouring jug that's pouring text into somewhere. We click into this second uh, column here, and now we can see that this text is flowing automatically into this second column. Um, this is something that I'm pretty sure you can't do in Microsoft Word. So that's why Microsoft Publisher is, is really quite handy. Um, so here we could say press enter, right? We press enter in the first column and that affects the text in the second column. Right? Um, okay, so we have now um, these two columns connected with each other. Um, actually, let, how about we make this text a little bit bigger? So um, how about we select all of this text? So once again, this text is connected across the two columns. So you can just highlight across and it just selects the whole lot. Um, you can also uh, type Control A and that will select all of the text automatically. But um, select all of the text, and let's make this um, size 14. So we've, we've now got the text size 14. It's flowing nicely from this first column into the second column. Um, and now I would like to put a picture into this document. Um, to do that, first of all, I'm going to want to um, make some space in the document here for the picture to go. So I'm going to move my text up a little bit. Once again, look at that. Uh, the
the column is cutting off the text, but we can just click on the three dots here and click into the third column and that will automatically, look at that, it's automatically overflowing the text into this third column. Okay, so I can move uh, this column up as well and now that has given me some more room here to put a picture. Okay, so Sapporo City, wonderful, we've got the text. Um, let's now go and grab a picture from the um, from the Sapporo uh, article here. So uh, what do we got? We've got the former Hokkaido government office building. How about we put that into our um, into our article? So we want to click on the article and then um, here in Wikipedia we can download this file. Um, so we're going to download this file, uh, download the original file. There we go, and that is saved. It's probably saved uh, in my downloads folder. Um, you could also just right click uh, the, um, the picture or double tap on, um, uh, on Mac or control click on, um, uh, on Mac. But in any case, I'd like you to save this picture uh, um, and I've already got it saved here in my downloads folder but I'll save that again as well and now we can close the browser and back in publisher we want to go to saw new again or insert and then guzzle right, very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint PowerPoint also has this, uh, Microsoft Word also has this. So insert a picture, then I'm going to navigate to my downloads folder or wherever uh, images are downloaded to on your computer. I'll click on the Hokkaido Prefectural uh, building here and click on Saw New. And there we have it. But it's a bit of a mess, right? Um, the, uh, the image is covering the text. So we want to put it in an appropriate spot. So I'm going to move it down. Um, we could just go like that, but the best thing is um, Microsoft um, Publisher shows us that the image is aligned or lined up with these, the, these, um, these margins. Um, the image is still too big, so we're going to grab one corner of the image and move it down. Maybe we need to just move it up a little bit to get it lined up um, with that edge there. Um, so now we have um, our uh, image there and we can maybe move this text down. Uh, move this text box down as well. But, you know, it, I think maybe we could make this picture a little bit bigger. So I'm going to move this text back up, move this text back up, and this text as well. And if I do that, then, of course, that cuts off the text here. But I'm going to move this picture a little bit bigger. I can move the... Um, the size of these columns a little bit. Um, now this is still cut off, so I think what I might do um, is you can click inside one of the columns, uh, click uh, or um, select Control A or um, select all of the text. I wonder if we can do that here. Um, maybe not. So. Um, highlight all of the text here and I'm going to change the size of the font there we go to about 12 I think is okay so back to 12 size font 
and here we have it. We have our completed um, document. Um, of course, we want to tell the reader where this information came from. So um, I'll zoom up a bit and we're going to write um, text from Wikipedia and image by, who is the image by? The image is by 663 Highland, 663 Highland, 663 Highland. Okay, so there we have it. That is how, the, kind of the basics of putting text and columns in a Microsoft Publisher document. Um, and also putting a picture in there. So I hope this uh, was helpful in just giving you an idea of how Microsoft Publisher works um, and some of the things that you can do with Microsoft Publisher. Now what I would like you to do is follow along with this video and create this, uh, this document yourself. So. Uh, put in the text boxes, uh, find the, um, the, the information on Wikipedia, copy and paste it. Uh, actually, I'll put a link to the Wikipedia article in the description below um, so that you can go through that uh, and do it yourself. Uh, once you've completed this, once you've got your document here, then I would like you to save it. So file, namai o tsukete hozon. Um, and then save it somewhere on your computer and then please upload that to uh, the forum which will be in um, I think week six, the week six section on Moodle. Okay, so good luck uh, and if you have any questions please feel free to email me um, and, uh, and ask me any questions that you have. Okay, thanks guys, good luck.